Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Octai and I am back with Bass Master Fishing 2022. And guys, we are going to check out the winter event that's going on with the game. There is definitely a Christmas thing going on. It's under the mastery section in the main menu. Alright, here it is, Winter Challenges 2021. And it looks like there's different tiers here, so this could get kind of interesting. So it's saying it's in progress, but I think it's because I had checked it out just to see what was available here. So basically what you do is you go to different venues and you do certain things, ta certain tasks. Because uh, Lake Hamilton, catch a bass weighing six pounds or more. That could be kind of cool. Now, how do I start that? I'm not exactly sure, but we're going to find out here. Santa had a order for completing Tier 1 of the Winter 2021 Challenges. That's why you want to do this. You get some cool little stuff. Well, let me see if let me see if I can get into it through here. So what do I got to do to get this to work? Six pound bass. I don't know if that's what I'm supposed to do or if I was supposed to go through that other thing. Time of day, species, access venue. Let's see, mastery. Maybe that's how you do it. it. Says it's right here. So maybe that's all I have to do. Well, let's give it a try here. Because it says I've unlocked it. Kind of might, it might be kind of like those missions that we do for the hunter. A little bit better. Now let's see here, guys. I'm gonna see about going to a good spot. What do we got over here? We've got chain pickerels caught there, largemouth bass is caught there, so we can try over there. Looks like I need to do a little bit more exploring on this particular venue. Only got a couple of decent spots marked, so... Seems like there's plenty of fish. Alright, we're getting up on the spot here. Take a look at the map here. So we're pretty darn close. It's probably either here or I'm not seeing any fish here. It must be a little bit further ahead. Aha, yeah. I know where it is. It's right over here. Yeah, this is a loaded place. You want to throw it right over there where that, that brush and stuff is. Alright, let's go ahead and get out. Let's see what we can catch over in that area. Now, what have I got on my thing? Let's see, I've got this jerkalistic, so we'll start with that. Yeah, they're right there on the edge, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, am 
might need to get a little bit closer. Yeah, let's get a little bit closer. That should do it. Looks like I'm right on top of it now. I don't know what the deal was. They're right on the shore, practically. I think that overhanging rock is what the deal is. They're right there near that rock. I think I'm gonna try this again. I'm still not in the right position. I can't get really well cast in there. They're there. they are. They're more on this side. Yeah, there they are, guys. Okay, he is not a large amount of bass, but that one is. That looks like a walleye. There's a bunch of them, I'll tell ya. Might use my jerkalistic, cause they're not seeming to go for this one as much. The problem with the jerkalistic is it does snack. Ooh, there's one. This is not a large amount of bass, so we're not going to. If we are able to complete. Good god, what is going on with this fish? This might be a striper. Yeah, I think it is a striper. It's big, it's really big. He is straining the hook. Seriously. Seriously a lot. Okay, let's put a little more pressure on. Yeah, I was able to mark it, but it's not an exact science, believe me. Fishing Planet's markers are a lot better. But, hey, we got us a decent fish here, that's for darn sure. I don't know what it is. 
I assume it is a striper just because of the way it's moving. It's shaped more like a bass. It's just that they don't count. I wish they did. Yeah, this is definitely a striper. And when they move real slow like that, that means they're huge. I think 50 pounds is the biggest. Oh, God. Oh, damn. You little bugger. Did you see that? He had to be a monster, guys. He had to be a monster. Well, let's try it again. Let's see if we can't get us an actual largemouth, though. I think that is another striper. I think that is a striper. One of the best of strikes. The thing we gotta watch with these guys are just so damn strong. See, it's like it keeps going up to straining. He is really pulling on it hard. But then he'll just suddenly let up. So then he's slipping, and then you got the you know, same kind of problem, only in the opposite way. He can get off due to low lying tension. I saw some largemouth bass in there, so it's worth fishing this to try to complete the mastery skill. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Come on, big guy. You are really making this hard for me. This might have been the same one I just lost. He is a ravenous little guy, not a big guy. Okay, let's try to see if we can get him a little bit closer to the boat, but he's starting to slip now. <coughs> oh boy. Damn it. It's not easy to do that. Got it. Yes. Holy crap, now that is a big fish. 31 pounds. Yep, that's why he was so hard to get in. Alright, let's see if we can't get us a large mouth here though this time. What the hell? Not sure what happened there. That was weird. It's like it. There we go. I don't know what the hell happened there. It was weird. That's a large mouth above me, but I'm not sure. Damn, they're all right there, and not one of them was interested. this one more time here. And if 
that doesn't get anything. There's gosh, there's oh snag. Gosh, there's bluegill. There's tons of walleye and. Okay, we're going to try something different then. What we got here? We've got... Got the gill natural sunfish. We could try a golden retriever. Shad. Let's see if... Maybe they're going for the shad here. slowing it down a little bit. That didn't seem to do any good either. Well, let's check the time of day. Let's try doing this in the morning. Maybe that'll improve things a little. have the capability, why not use it? Say that's what it was. We were doing it the wrong time of day. Wrong time of day. They just weren't interested in eating right now. It wasn't their feeding time. This is a big fish. Whatever it is, it is a big fish. When you get that heartbeat, that usually means that you've got you a trophy size, but I don't think it's... Ah, oh, damn it. He's big. And he is a trophy, but he's not the right kind. Let's try this guy again. Six plus pounds I've got to get. Well, it did make a difference. Damn. Okay, let's take this down a little bit. He is straining. I couldn't tell what he was. I think he might have been a walleye. I'm not sure. No, walleyes don't jump. He's not a trophy. And he's not little. I think he actually might be a large mouth bass, guys. So let's see. What, yeah, I think he is. Now, is he big enough? That's the thing. Is he big enough? Maybe. Maybe. Yes! I can set any records with that one. But at least it's a good, solid keeper. Okay, let me see if it happened. What happened with the mastery? Let me see if it actually took it. Yes. See, see what it did. It checked it off. <laughs> That's pretty cool stuff, guys. That's how we do it. Now, I am having to go to all these other locations. Looks like I have to get three perfect strikes here. Catch a fish weighing 10 pounds or more in Chickamauga. That's easy. That's easy. Easy as, easy as pie. Let me see. I wonder if there's anything else we can unlock here. We've got Pro and Venue. So let's see if there's something for Lake Hamilton that we can also unlock here. I like big mouths and I cannot lie. So I caught two largemouth bass and morning on the lake. I've already caught four out of five. So I can complete two of these mastery challenges right here while I'm doing this.
That's pretty cool stuff. Yeah, I didn't know about this, and I am really thrilled with this because even though I like the competitions, you know guys, I like how much I like to just fish. Now this means that I can complete one of them. That'll make it five fish in the morning. This is a decent wall, uh, walleye. Well, okay, let's take it down a little bit. He's more than decent. I don't think he's a trophy, but he's pretty dang gone close. Yeah, well, I mean, we don't come out here with decorations and catching fish that only exist at Christmas time. We're coming out and we're doing missions. It's sort of like in the Hunter. There's certain things you have to complete. But it gives you something to shoot for. and I, I can actually complete more than one mission at once, which is great. Yeah, he's a nice one. 12 pounds. Not anything to sneeze at, that's for sure. Okay, let's take a look at our mastery here. I think that means I completed that pro one. Or no, the... Yeah, apparently we have some other missions here that's for that. Like Hamilton. Oh, I get it. Maybe it's not considered morning anymore. I like big mouths and I cannot lie. Shoot. Well, let's take a time back to the beginning of the day. We are going to catch... Get our venues taken care of if we can. There's another one. And this is a good spot. Once I figured out where it was, the only problem is there's a lot of different species here. I need to check this venue out a little bit further and find one that is more centered around large mounds. There's a lot of them there, but there's so many other species here too. If I was fishing for real, this would be what I'd be after anyway, that or as a catfish. Because when I fish, I like to fish for food. <laughs> I like to eat them. I don't want to keep the bass so much. I usually let them go. Guys, a fighter for a walleye. I'm surprised he's not a trophy. Okay. Well, maybe not. I thought maybe he was coming in that time. He is not. Yet. Okay, there he comes. Now he's a tough one. Shoo! He's bigger than that last one. 15 pounds. Not a trophy, but still. Very nice fish. Now, does that complete that or not? Or does it have to be a bluegill? I mean, a bluegill. Does it have to be. Morning on the lake. We completed it. So I still need to get two largemouth bass. And that will complete the Lake Hamilton mastery. Let me see what these pro ones do. Pro ones are catch 10 fish weighing under 5 pounds. 
thinking bed, catch fish, five fish weighing over five pounds. So I can sit, literally sit there and go through these and just complete them and complete them and complete them. Yeah, I did not have any idea that I had this capability with this. And for each thing you get prizes and bragging rights. Ooh, what the hell? That was weird. He was on it, but I it's I think I got too much slack in it is what happened. There it goes. Yeah, I had too much slack in it. Another thing too is your, this computer keeps getting hot and pushing 11 daylights out of this computer. I've had this computer a while and it's, I think it's seen better days. There we go, and it is a bass, so, and it is a big bass. Big bass. This might be my first trophy here. Yeah, I've been wanting to get a trophy here, but I have not got one yet, so... Okay, this is slipping. He is... He's a big fella. Big, big fella for this venue. I don't know what happens if you manage to get a legendary. I think I might have gotten one, and he broke the line. That has been my goal, is to eventually get one of them. Nice. Ooh, so green. So green. He's so pretty. There you what go. A hog. 11 pounds, 3 ounces. I think I'm going to get a picture of him, too. This is what we were after, guys. Let's check our mastery. I think that's all that I can do here at the moment. Now, I still want to do the winter challenges, but I cannot. Let's see, that one's locked. What is. Oh, we won't even know what they are until. See, you can get a Santa t shirt for this. That's for. Order for completing tier one of the winter 21 challenge. You also get the Santa hat. What do you get for this? Oh, a Santa beard. Awesome. We're going to do this, guys. I really want those. <laughs> I really want those. <laughs> all right. Well, it looks like we've done all that we can do for the winter one here, guys. So let's go ahead and quit off of this venue. We'll do one more. Really didn't do bad. We did really well. We got some decent fish here. Let's see. Toledo Bend is another one. Chickamauga is another one. That one I know we can do really easily. So let's check that one. Toledo Bend's a little bit harder to get something of worthy size. Chickamauga will be quick. So I got a spot real close. Some, one of my other viewers told me there's another good spot even closer than the one I what I found. Apparently there's some right where the boat dock is. Like a ramp or whatever. So I might check it out just to see. I mean I can always go on to where... But yeah, there's a boat ramp right here. Apparently there's quite a few here too. Well, I'm seeing a lot of... Yep. They're right. There's definitely some fish there. 
Well, let's see what we can do here, guys, because we might as well try to get... Crazy. And they're not looking all that big, though. So let's try over here and take a look. Oh, wow. They will catfish. Yeah, yeah, there's a, he is going to get it, you little bugger, you little bugger. <laughs> I think I'll take that, Dag on it, I'm hungry. Yeah, I think it's a channel cat, but I'm not a... Yeah, cats... They're very subtle. They're slow moving. They have a lot of strength. Where in the world are you going, fish? Come back over here. Come on. All right, we I think we got it. Yeah, we got it. Nice. That's a nice, nice channel cat. No, it's a blue cat. I'm sorry. That's a blue cat. He looks so gray compared to the... Usually they do have a blue tinge. Well, that's the first one I've gotten, I think. Hmm, I'll be damned. Well, let's see if we can't get ourselves... Let's see, let's try the bluegill this time. Or... Yeah, let's try the blue kill. The natural. I don't think the catfish go for this as much. I watch one of them just snag it. <laughs> Well, that pike almost grabbed it. Damn, look at them all. Yet to the viewer, they told me about this. I that was a that was a gar. <laughs> that was a gar. I seriously appreciate it. That was a lot. Of, that was an awesome spot. Seriously easy to find. I think this might be a really big one too, guys. That gar can get pretty big. I've caught a five foot one out of the Ohio 
fought him the wrong time too. There he is. They're good fighters. The trick was getting that hook out of his mouth. You got to have needle nose pliers to do that. He's coming. Well, maybe he isn't. Yeah, there was a decent large mouth that was interested in it too, but he got it first. Man, he is really a fighting fish here. Alright, come on, come on, you can do it. Don't you do it one more damn time, you little... There we go, we got him. Yeah, that's a nice one. What a finned freak of nature! They are strange. Very ancient fish. Look at those bass. I mean, my lord. Oh, you little turd. <laughs> oh, man. All the bass were like, mm, yeah, 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 I'm not going for it. You going for it? No, no, I'm not going for it. Yeah. Okay, I'll go for it. <laughs> Get in here, you little. Little bitty fella. Look at him. Isn't he cute? Little flathead. Three pounder. Never have one go for that lure. That was really unexpected. Okay, we're gonna let this sink a little bit. My god, look at all of them. seem to want that. We could always try the buzz bait. It's the Ben Parker. Let's try a buzz bait and see what that does. Whoa, there we go. Oh, it's little. Teeny little crappie. Black crappie. Never get action though. Now that was a bass. Yes. I think he's very big though. He is kind of small. Almost have to measure him. I think we're gonna need to go a little bit bigger here, bait guys. Bait wise, I wish I had. I don't think I have a bigger top bait there. Let's see. That's gonna get small ones too. Might just go back to our jerkalistic. Morning is waning. Ah, that's a striper. Actually, I might just let him take it. Because honestly, He's a white bass. He's a good one. He's a trophy. Easily a trophy. No? Really? I'm surprised. No, it just kind of frustrated me that 
All those bass. Look at them all. And a catfish goes for it. <laughs> uh, guys are killing me. Pretty much have to bring him in. I can't. I mean, I guess I could cut the line, but yeah, I think I'm gonna get him in pretty quick. Well, maybe not. This might be another blue cat, guys. Be bigger than that last one. I don't know how big they have to be for the trophies. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to call this an episode of these guys. I'm sorry I couldn't get that last one, but we'll continue on. In the next episode, try to get this mission completed. And we're still getting fish, and we're getting plenty of XP. Let's see what this guy looks like. Holy crap! Now, see, he has the blue tinge. He has the blue tinge. Now, see how pretty he is? The other one's just gray. This one's definitely got the blue hue to him. So we can take a screenshot. What do we hit? S? Yep. Pretty damn cool. One more, one more, one more, one more, one more. I got to do this one more time. <laughs> this is fun. Ah. You little. Okay, this is a trophy of whatever it was. I think it's a pike or a pickerel. Probably a pickerel. I don't think it doesn't look big enough to be a pike. But I'll take the trophy pickerel. There we go. Yeah, isn't he pretty? He's a pretty guy. Pretty guy. Three, six pound, nine ounce chain pickerel. They're biting real good, I just wish we could get the darn bass to do it. Instead of every daggone thing else. Ooh, okay, whatever this is, it is a trophy. So, I didn't see what bit it hit as soon as it hit the water. Yeah, they do that, what do you call it, dramatic thing where they zoom in and slightly blur it. <laughs> So that you give you put you under a little bit of tension there. I have no idea what this is. And I need to step up the tension just a little bit. Okay, I don't think it's a bass. Okay. Nope, it's a walleye, but it is a trophy walleye. This is the biggest trophy, probably the biggest walleye I've got yet. And I could just stay here for hours. Fish right here, guys. Yeah, I really want to thank whoever it was that told me about this. This, this spot is really, really awesome. I thought I found a good one, but I think this definitely exceeds it. Since there's such a variety of species. 
Oh man, that is a nice one. 22 pounds. That's what I'm talking about. Very nice. Very nice fish, guys. Alright, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will keep working at this as much as I can here. Let's see. We've still got to complete. We did get it. Oh, it just had to be a fish. We did that without a doubt. And I believe we've still got some venue missions we can work on here. Let's see. What do we get on here for the Chickamauga? Did we complete it? Yeah, we did. Awesome. Item unlocked. Chickamauga Lake Cat. Ah, very cool. I got myself a hat. Chickamauga. Very nice. Okay, let me see. We've got also the... Let's see. Bassmaster Deluxe Edition. Oh, so you can get pants. Dox Mastery Rain Pants. See, this is a great way to get gear. I mean, completing these missions. Let's see, we got Legendary. So I gotta get fish under 5 pounds. Well, that shouldn't be that tough. Alright, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. As I said before, Aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.